this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Today, I've got a new enemy here I want to show off, uh, Harvesters! These guys have a really good rare drop called the, um... Oh, there's the Mage Master in action. These guys have a really good rare drop, the Death Sickle. Uh, you want to try and get at least one of these right now, if you want to. It's... I mean, it is rare, but I think you can get it pretty well. You can find these guys in the area near Crescent, which is where I am right now. But anyway, the thing about the Death Sickle is, um, it's a hammer, or, well, I think it's like more like an axe-type weapon. So your Berserkers can equip it, and it has a chance of casting instant death on the target, which is really nice. Makes it a really good weapon for Berserkers. Not that I particularly care for the Berserkers, but uh, there are some pretty good things you can do with the Harvest or the Death Sickle as a weapon. It's also way more powerful than just about any other weapon for your, or, uh, that particular job class, anyway. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. I want to switch Gallif into a Black Mage uh, to start working on level 4 Black Magic for now. Did we get any other job class? It's been a little while since I recorded the last episode. Oh right, Bard. Uh, bards kind of suck, but whatever. I'll use them eventually. Let's see. Do I want you with the main gouch? Yes, I do. But I also want you to have the Elven Mantle. There we go. I might change my mind on that later, I don't know. I want to try and win the Death Sickle off of the Harvesters. If I can't get it, that's not a huge loss. So I'll just meet you back off screen once I've gotten it, or once I've given up, either or. Aha! There we go! We got a Death Sickle! Huh, I was just about ready to give up on that, too. Anyway, it would be pretty nice to get Galuf up to level 20 in the relatively near future. It's not absolutely critical, but eh, pretty soon we're going to want him to be there, so there you go. So anyway, let's see. Uh, something I forgot to mention a couple episodes ago, uh, the Jack and Apes in the Walsh Castle basement are vulnerable to level 5 death, so if you want to get the treasure down there without having to run away all the time, there's an option for you there, if you can survive that long. <laughs> I just wanted to hear the, uh, the grunt there. I don't know why I find that so amusing, viewers. Anyway, we want to head over this way. Let's see. No, not that way. I want to head to where the wind shrine is. You can't fly over the really tall mountains, though. The ones with snow on them, but that's not really that important. Right up here, we want this village, hidden in the mountains, surrounded by forests. This is Lix! Sounds... vulgar. Oh! These guys know Bart's. Hmm. Ah, yes, this is Bart's hometown! Anyway, uh, there isn't much to find here by way of treasure, uh, but there are a couple of cutscenes we can get here. Oh, okay. You can rest here for free. Awesome. Oh, Bart's is being an insomniac again. going on? Oh. You don't have to go here if you don't want to. I just find that it's interesting to see a couple cutscenes. You know, 
that sort of thing. Everyone here's well, both of you are orphans, huh? Or kind of. You know something I've always wondered? You know, older people, I mean, who don't have their parents around anymore, would you call them orphans too? I mean, like even if they were 65. Because, I mean, technically they are, aren't they? Eh, I don't know. Maybe that's just a weird question. Maybe I'm just strange. Who knows? And I think anyone who sat through these videos for long enough knew that I'm pretty knows that I'm pretty strange. Oh. Hmm. Well, let's go exploring. Oh, yeah. This is Bart's old house. Yeah, we could sleep in Bart's old bed if you want to. What do we got here? A nice little tune. Why does this remind me so much of Final Fantasy IX? I like the music, at least. It sounds kind of familiar. Maybe that's just me. It kind of sounds a little bit like, I don't know, sort of slowed down, maybe simpler version of Beatrix's theme. I, eh, I don't know. And the same composer and all that stuff, I suppose. I guess Dorgan used to be some sort of hero. Or adventurer, at least. Oh, and we get Alluring Air. I think that's another song for your bard if you have one around. Let's see. Oh yeah, so it confuses all enemies. So it's kind of like Romeo's Ballad, except for confusion instead of stop. That's pretty nice. It's free, at least, so that's handy, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I know. See, there's one more cutscene we can view around here. Hey! Oh, like old times, huh? Used to hang out together? Oh, that must be Bart's up there. Whoa! I 
guess it got left up there. Huh, huh. I are totally smart. So that's why Bart was afraid of heights, if you remember from North Mountain when he was terrified to get onto the, uh... Okay... Well, Bart, what's in your past is in your past. What happens in Licks stays in Licks. Anyway, we can get some stuff here at the item shop. And everything's on sale here, and we can actually buy others here if you want to. That's really, really nice. And right now is a pretty good time to stock up on several of these items. Let's see. What do I want to stock up on? Antidotes and... Yeah. Let's just stock up on these. Maybe get, like, ten of each or so. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. Oop, not mallets. Uh, these items all have practical purposes later, just so you know. And probably from five. Uh, let's round it up to ten. Ten tenths. And we got an equipment shop over here. We got kunai for ninjas, but they're not really that good. Uh, shurikens are throwing weapons, as well as flame, water, and lightning scrolls. Uh, but the, shur the shurikens are probably the most powerful of all of them, but they're very expensive, so I wouldn't worry about them. I would, however, worry about getting some scrolls. Uh, let's start with the water scrolls. Let's see, how much is that? 4,000? Yeah, we can afford it. I want to get about 20 of each of these. That'll pretty much set be, keep us set for a long while. Water Scrolls especially are very useful, and so are the Thunder Scrolls. Let's see, Green Beret and Ninja Suits, you should already have plenty of, so I wouldn't worry about that. Anyway, that's really all we can do. Oh, God, excuse me. That's really all we can do here in Licks, so let's get out of here. It's just a nice little place you can go to. Huh! I will never get tired of that, viewers. Like, ever. Anyway, uh, remember this area for later. It becomes a little bit more relevant later on in the story. If you remember, though, last time we came in here, there was... Two rocks remaining, weren't there? But uh, now it seems that there's only one left. Huh, I wonder why. Could it have something to do with X death? Nah, that would just be crazy. Anyway, let's see. This way. There it is, the Library of Ancients. That's where we want to go next. We gotta tell Sid and Mid what happened to their ship. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a problem. We can't go back there and get the blue magic spell missile. Oh. Pfft. Yeah. Oh, you found King Tycoon? I thought he was dead. Desert of shifting sand. Shifting sand land? Yeah, basically. Town of Ruin. Interesting. Oh, I guess he's got the float spell. Lena, do you have the float spell? You are the time mage of the group. No, huh? Eh, I suppose not. <laughs> when I was your age, we used to cross through burning sand every day just to get to the store. Uphill! Both ways! And we liked it! Uh, I love making back in my day jokes. Even though the people who actually say stuff like that are over three times my own age, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, we need to get to the Desert of Shifting Sands. We can't get there on foot. We gotta walk. We have to get there on foot. We can't just fly there or anything like that. 
Did I show off the silent bees earlier? I forget. Well, whatever. Just keep on moving. The enemies here are the same as they have been in this area, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. Anyway, this is the Desert of Shifting Sands, but as they warned us before, we really can't get anywhere. Someone tell the fat lady she's on in five. Oh. Cry me a river, build a bridge, and get over it, huh? How are we gonna build a bridge anyway? Oh. Well, how do you know how to call the sand? Oh, I guess they've been in the library. I guess it's better to have a library next to a desert rather than in the desert. Ha! Huh. Get wrecked, Galif. Um, are we ready? Well, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Really? I don't believe you! Seriously, don't believe him. Magic's pretty much the way to go if physical attacks kind of suck in this fight. In boss time against the sandworms! You hate him, don't you, viewers? Anyway, as you can see, this guy likes to shift around his holes. That kind of came out wrong. Whatever. Anyway, uh, the way you want to attack this guy is to throw scrolls at him. He'll counterattack, but that's eh, fine, really. Gravity is not uh, all that worrisome. Physical attacks are not usually that worthwhile. Wow, he's gravitating me a lot. Let's see. We just heal up with multi-targeted Cura. Now this guy is considered a desert enemy. And what that means is... We can use Aqua Breath on this guy to deal massive damage. And that'll one-shot him. Basically. Yeah, he only has about 3000 HP, so a good water uh, Aqua Breath will kill him immediately. So yeah, I guess it wasn't that necessary for me to use... Uh, water scroll, but I, I just wanted to prove a point. Oh, yeah, do that, please. Thank you. Well, see you later. Let's see. Bart's gained a level for Mystic Knight, so I want to switch him into the Ranger, finally. Let's see. Can't use Spellblade, so I. I won't even bother with that. Two-handed is worthless. Let's go with control. And a frost bow. Doesn't particularly matter. But yeah, frost bro. Or frost bro. Yeah, no. Frost bow. I can't talk today. And stick him in the back row. Everyone's in the back row this time. Let's see, let's go down here! Yeah, I want him to work on Ranger because, um... Rapid Fire, his uh, final ability you learn for Rangers, is literally made of awesome, so... Anyway, we've got some new de enemies here, Desert Killers. Uh, let's see, these guys are undead and they're also weak to water. They can use Quicksand, which is something the Sandworm could have done. It's basically just does 60 damage to all of your characters and put sap on you. So you can use Aqua Breath on these guys to deal good damage, they're also weak to water, but we don't really have a way of dealing water type damage. Uh, remember, uh, Aqua Breath is not water elemental, it's, it just deals octuple damage to desert enemies. There's a difference. But anyway, not much to worry about. It's not that way. And we've got another new enemy here, Sand Bears. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, crap. You could steal a weapon from him. I think it's a bit of a rare steal. Called the Javelin. Uh, none of our characters could equip it right now. 
but it is a really, really good weapon for a little bit later in the game, if you so choose. Well, that's one way of dealing with him! Damn! I'm not too worried about getting a javelin right now, to be honest. We don't really need it. Anyway, in that desert over there, you run into Dorn Chimeras, so if you want to get Aqua Breath now, you can. But you really should have it now, already. I hate getting interrupted, viewers. Anyway, this is... gone. <sighs> I have no words for how bad that pun is. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh wow, you've got a lot of ability points left to get to the next level. Hmm. Where'd go? Yeah, actually I want you as a thief now. Hmm. Sure, first strike, why not? I gave you the silver armor. Yes, I can. Well, okay, if I'm a thief now, I might as well go back for the javelin and see if I can't get it. Gone. What a terrible pun. Yeah, I'll, I'll just meet you back here off screen. Okay, well, I didn't get the javelin. It just was taking too long, feeling too many steals. So. I'm not even gonna bother anymore because stealing is boring when it takes five minutes. Whatever, we'll just explore the town of Gone now in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm done with you people. Or, no, not people. Bombs, rather. Whatever, see you guys next time.